Are you retired? Is that, are you really retired? <laughs> I, I, I am retired. Uh, I retired because I, I didn't want to go back to do the same thing all over, over and again. And taking a fight, it takes a lot out of me because I'm very proud. It's very important for me. So when I perform, I have to do it the best I can. And the result matter very much for me. So it's it takes a lot of stress on me. Um, I didn't want to take uh, another training cap of two, three months, maybe six months with the whole uh, uh, building up with the promotion and everything out of my life to fight another guy that I don't have nothing to gain, like I mean in terms of legacy. If I fight some, someone and I take six months of my life to focus on it, the sparring, the stress, everything, and I have, you know, to focus me myself on it, I would need that to be worth it for me, not only money-wise, but legacy-wise and satisfaction-wise. That's why I want. Yes, that's why I wanted to fight Khabib because I had. I, I could have lost big, but at least I could have win big. If I fight another contender that doesn't have the same platform, the same legacy, it feels to me that I have a lot more to lose than to win. And I also said also that I wanted to retire on top. So for me, if I ever come back, it's not impossible. But right now, uh, I don't see nothing. The UFC refused a fight with me, Khabib and I, and, and, and I'm not ready to, you know, there's nothing that really excites me. Doesn't mean that, you know, th these guys are incredible. Every challenge is dangerous, you know? But I, I, I feel like I have a lot more to lose. It's crazy because you would love to fight Khabib. He would love to fight you. Yeah. You guys would love that experience. Everybody would love to watch it. I mean, we would die to see that fight. It doesn't make any sense that, it, that it's not a fight. It, it, it makes sense in a way that my agent explained to me that maybe he represents a significant investment for UFC. He, he reached a different type of clientele, maybe on the, on the Middle East, uh, in the Muslim world, you know, idolizing him. He's like an icon. And um, imagine that they invest a lot of money to promote a big fight between Khabib and I, and I win the fight. I'm out, you know. I don't. I'm not interested in signing a fight with Khabib and, and guarantee them that I want to go back to fight another contender. And this fight, did, for me, didn't need to be for a title, or it could have been in a catch weight. I would have, I would have, be interested of doing it. But UFC had, had other plan for Khabib. Thanks. It does make sense from a business standpoint, but it, it sucks. It, it sucks, but you know, who knows? Maybe it's a good thing. Maybe I, I the fighter is always the last person to to think. It's time to retire, you know. Maybe I would have go back and get my ass kicked by Khabib, yeah. you know. I don't think so. I, I'm confident. I believe I'm still the best in the world, you know. If I if I if I prepare, but the reality is that I am getting older. I'm getting smarter, you know. I'm at the time that I don't feel that physically I slow down. But like I said, the the fighter is the last person to know.